Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It is Sunday, 3rd of July, maybe? <laughs> Can't remember, I've lost track of the dates. Um, and yes, I thought I would share with you my yarn adventures for this week. We've had some glorious weather. We were told we would get nothing but torrential rain all weekend and it did rain a lot Friday, but um, Saturday and Sunday has been absolutely beautiful, lovely and sunny and fresh, not too hot. So yes, I've been spending quite a bit of time outside. However, this week, because I'm slowing down with work and have more time, I have been catching up on podcasters. And a couple of podcasters this week have inspired me to do some things. So I thought I would share that with you. So the first podcaster to inspire me this week was, now I want to make sure I say her channel name correctly. It is Anna's Craft Amore. Anna is an Australian girl who I do catch but don't often comment and I should comment more. I apologize, Anna. But this week she released her pattern, The Bookie Square. And it looks lovely and um, I'm hopefully well received. And because I was watching her video about her pattern, it got me thinking about my Emma's Tea Cozy, Emma's Kisses Tea Cozy pattern, which I started way back when and had stalled because I wanted to make three different sizes in the one pattern. So Emma's Kisses Tea Cozy pattern is in the draft stage and he's currently with pattern testers. And hopefully I will be sharing that with you and um, releasing it. So as you can see, this is the first one I made and then I stalled. And all of mine are made in eight ply pure wool, but they can be made in acrylic or cotton or wool blend. I just like to use pure wool for the thermal properties because besides decorating a very plain teapot, the thermal properties of wool keep the tea warm. So this was the first one I made in the large size and then I stalled a bit but because of Anna motivating me and inspiring me to finish my pattern I did the other sizes this week. So this is the medium size and this is the small size. I also did another large size up here just to refresh my memory what it's like. So this will be Emma's Kisses Tea Cozy pattern. Once my pattern testers tell me it's all okay to go. So what else did, was there about Anna's channel? Look, please make sure you go and check her out. All the links to everything will be in the description below. And say hi and look at her new bookie square pattern. It is lovely. So moving on, I watched Mousy, Mouse's Mates with Amanda Jane Davis. Davies? Davis? Something like that. Lady in UK who I really like watching to see what she's been knitting up to. And I've said before, she's running a, um, I guess, a make-along. Come join in along on Instagram called Knitting with Ukraine. Just showing Ukraine people we support them. And all you have to do for that is pick a pattern by a Ukraine designer. It can be a free pattern. Um, it can be sewing, knitting, cross-stitch, whatever you want. All you have to do is post your pictures to Instagram, hashtag tag them knitting with Ukraine and hashtag the designer of the pattern. Hopefully you can find them on Instagram and hashtag them with that as well. And if you can't, you can always email um, Amanda and she will help you out with that. Now this closes at the end of August and she will have some prizes, but I have been doing it for fun. I did um, the booties and I finally got some ribbon and posted a picture on Instagram today. But during the week, I was thinking about all the baby scrap yarn I have and what I will do with it. And I went on Instagram and found a pattern. Sorry, my project is in this bag. I don't have a lot of large project bags for like blankets and shawls. I have smaller ones. My large ones are currently full. So I'm currently using this very old bag that I got years ago from some yarn company. So the pattern I found by a Ukraine designer, and I'm going to need my glasses, is called Sea Wave Blanket. I'll just fold it like that. There you go. 
This is a scrap yarn pattern by Ukraine designer. I have to find her name, which is probably on the back. Lena Fed Fedtova. I hope that's how you pronounce it. It does come with a bit of a graph. It's very, very easy. This is my baby scrap yarn. I probably won't have this finished in a hurry. It'll be a case of when I've got baby eight ply three weight yarn, I'll be adding it to this blanket. And there we go. There's mine. Now you have your scrap yarn, which for each row takes about 10 grams and you work in one direction. You tie off and then you do your contrast colour. My contrast colour is white. I'll just turn my chair around a bit more. I'm a bit off centre today. So there you have my sea waves pattern using my baby scrap yarn. This is a great scrap yarn pattern for any weight of yarn. Now, there's the pattern. For me, I'm using a four millimetre crochet hook, which I like for eight ply. It is quite a closed pattern for a baby, which is really great. I'll just probably use this as a um, lap gown for charity when I finish it. It's lovely and soft because it's baby yarn. She uses a three millimetre crochet hook and any scrap wool, angora, mohair, acrylic, fingering or sock weight, whereas I am using three weight. But you could use any weight with a suitable hook. And she tells you um, how wide it'll be, but it, depending on what you use, it'll be your width and length. And she gives you the multiples so you can use any yarn. So it's a chain a multiple of six plus one. And so I still did, I did 150 chain. 151 chain but there you go I think this is a great scrap pattern I think the blues attracted me so if you have like a range of blues or green sorry video hiccups um, in your scrap or all, a range of colors you could do it in rainbow colors but this is a great pattern and it will be going eventually on Instagram Knitting with Ukraine. Remember, you don't have to knit. You can crochet and you can do diamond painting. You can do anything as long as it's by a Ukraine designer and it can be free. It doesn't have to be paid for. So those were the two ladies that really inspired me this week. Like basically Hannah inspired me to get moving on my tea cozy pattern which I'd been asked a lot to do an easy crochet pattern that was pretty and decorative but useful. You see a lot of really artistic tea cozies that aren't useful. These are useful. Draw a string top, opens at the top, move your lid, fill it up. And yeah, hopefully it will be popular when I release it as a fundraiser for Emma's Quest. Now, we can inspire someone. I would like to inspire someone and get them moving with your help. So this week I came across da -da, Nifty Knitting and Crochet by Suze. This happens to be a subscriber of mine from Western Australia who's joined in Rock 2022 AU and other things that I've done. And she has done her first couple of videos for her channel. And she says, I'm not sure if I'll do any more. So guys, Let's inspire her to keep going. Go over there, check out her channel, give her videos a like and tell her she should do more videos because we can never have enough Australian podcasters telling us about Australian yarn and different things that they use from overseas. Um, she does some beautiful baby work, I can tell you that much, and other things. And like me, she is trying to step out of her comfort zone and do other things. So please encourage her to keep her channel going and like her videos, subscribe, um, be positive. No negative comments, just full of thumb, fun and enthusiasm to keep her going. The other thing I've been doing this week, which I won't share you with you the product yet, I'm doing a knitting workshop online. I did start put together my big basket and I did start something 
but I figured, wow, this is a lot more difficult than I thought. And then there was a knitting workshop that I could do. No, it's not, um, it's reasonable. It's not inexpensive and it's not too expensive. And so far I've done a couple of lessons and definitely worth the money. And I will share the um, whip with you as I go. Um, and I am either improving my skills that I know already and I am learning some new skills by an excellent teacher. But that's just a teaser for next week's video. Rock 2022 July is off to a great start with it being 4th of July and we're celebrating American music with Bruce Springsteen. So be encouraged to make something in red, white and blue if you're taking part. And if you're not taking part, it's never too late to join. You can always jump in for a couple of months and have a go. So guys, that's it for me for this week. It's more been more about watching other podcasters and being inspired by them. So hopefully you can be inspired by some crafty podcasters in your coming Yarny week. Stay well, stay safe. Till next time, check out some Ukraine designers and see if you can find something to make to show them some support, that we haven't forgotten them. We are still aware there is a conflict in their country and we'd like to share some love with them. Bye for now.